YouTube, you've done it again. Earlier in the week, I think it was like a few days ago, I don't remember if it was at the beginning of the week or the middle of the week, I released my first YouTube rant video in a long time. It's been a while. And here we are again. They've done something stupid yet again. Haven't even gotten to the second week yet after my after that rant. We're still in the same week, and literally something's happened again. So add this to the list. This comes on a personal scale. I know not everybody's going to feel the same as, as me, probably. Some people might. Uh, I think a certain group of people will. Uh, some people might not even give a damn, so I'm not going to expect everyone to side with me completely on this. Okay, so I have been watching this ASM artist, ASMR Kitty Claw, for about two years or so, and I've really enjoyed her content, and she makes great ASMR and I find myself uh, really into it more than the others. And it's interesting because she's a Russian ASM artist. And you can't actually understand what she's saying if you're, you know, if you don't speak Russian, obviously. It has the subtitles, but often I don't even really care to even read that. I, I just like to, her voice in general just has a great sound to it. And the triggers that she does, that's a side topic. I'm just getting into why I like her. <laughs> To set the whole mood here, why that's so upsetting for me. Um, so, to get to the point straight off. YouTube has demonetized her completely. She no longer has monetization. So she gets a, a million subscribers. She goes through all this work. All this time that she puts into her videos. All this money that she spends to make quality content. And she gets demonetized. She does. You know, there's so many other content creators on here who are doing the most inappropriate crap, and they're still here. And she gets demonetized? Are you serious? Like, really? And they couldn't give her an excuse. They couldn't, they couldn't give her an excuse or a reason as to why it happened. Uh, and that's complete bull to me. That's just completely stupid. And that has to be completely wrong you you can't you shouldn't be able to do that you have to give someone a reason i mean you can't just do that that's like arresting someone without even having a warrant or having a reason to do so you can't do that that's like wrong so she says she thinks it's because you know people seem to always comment about the way she dresses and the way she looks in her videos and Supposedly people find it too sexual or stuff like that because of the way she dresses and the sounds and stuff that she makes. And I gotta say, I don't get those vibes at all from her. <laughs> I There's a few ASM artists out there that you can tell. They literally are setting out to you know, get a certain group of viewers. And you can tell from thumbnails and stuff that that's what they're going for. And she has a few of them that are like that, to be honest with you. But... Uh, she also says she just wants to make snappy thumbnails, and she doesn't even do that often either. Generally, the thumbnails pertain to the video, and you have other ASM artists who are showing off a lot more than she does, like a million times more than she does. And like I saw one the other day where a girl was in the thumbnail almost naked pretty much, and ASMR Kitty Claw gets taken down for monetization. But these other people are? Are you kidding me? You have got to be joking. <sighs> it's 5 a.m. Haven't got any sleep today. This is this is August 3rd. And I'm literally going to film this, edit this, and put it out today. Didn't plan on making a video today, but I have to. Because this is pretty important to me. <sighs> Why? Why? That's the big question here. Why? What did she do wrong that deserved this? You know, she she makes good content. She makes content that a lot of people enjoy. Now, there's always going to be those perverted people. I've had people on my channel who act like this. And, you know, sometimes it can lead to bad things. But it, she's done nothing wrong. And you've demonetized her completely. And she needs money for her expenses, her house, her apartment, I mean. And stuff to make content with and this is back to my point it's like youtube is trying to take away any motivation for these people to you know create content 
And I know I mentioned small creators in the last one, but here we're going to talk about her. She has a million subscribers. That's a good amount of subscribers. It's a lot. It's a lot, especially compared to my channel. But, you know, the big question, why? Why? I know I'm smiling, but that's really just because I smile nonstop. I usually try to keep a smile. Uh, it's, it's really hard with this, though pisses me off i i even still have her video on the screen i literally just got done watching it right before even bothering to record this and i really just wanted to make sure everyone knew about this to what youtube's doing this is just one person that's not to say that a lot of people aren't having this issue so this is pretty much for everybody including her especially since i'm a viewer of hers so anybody at youtube if you end up watching this Clear up your guys' act, dude. Get, do something right for once. You know, give her back the monetization that she deserves. You know, she works hard. She works incredibly hard and makes really good content that I enjoy and a vast majority of her viewers enjoy based on the views and the likes to dislike ratio that even she mentioned. Like she says, a guy will make a video, you know, showing off certain body parts and that's totally fine. But if a girl does it, then it's the end of the world for YouTube and then you're demonetized and then you can't make money off of that video and it's complete complete crap like what is that you don't do that to somebody you got to be fair around all parties like if you're gonna demonetize her for a certain for a certain video you got to demonetize everybody who makes videos anywhere similar to that and they're not fair like that they don't it's like they're it's really almost like they're picking on her and that's definitely not right you don't just single out people God damn it, YouTube. If I'm not trying to make decent content, family-friendly content, I, I would be saying so many worse things to you right now. I really would. But once again, you provide a home for so many people to create content. And that's probably the best thing I'm going to be able to say about you right now. That's literally the best thing I can say. And one thing I do want to say is she does have a patron. She has an Instagram. Follow her on Instagram. Support her on Patreon. She needs all the help she can get and all the motivation she can get. And maybe eventually soon, YouTube will review her. Uh, hopefully enough people create some noise and get YouTube's attention. That way that they can uh, fix this stupid mistake that they've created themselves. <laughs> and like I said... Uh, I don't want to get into the whole sexist, feminist type thing, or I don't even know the topic, what it, what it would be uh, whenever you, you discriminate against a certain gender. That's it's it's that's wrong in and of itself. That goes into everything else that I've been talking about, the fact that they're singling her out, not only because, you know, the certain content that she makes, but also because of her gender. And like I said, I've seen way worse stuff on YouTube than hers. Um you know, she wears normal clothes. They want to bring that up. She wears normal clothes. She's not like almost naked in her videos, like some of the ASM artists I have seen on YouTube. Uh, and honestly, those are the people who don't put any effort in. And they're the people who are still here and making money. And she's putting in a lot of effort, a lot of time. And they do this to her. Why? I mean, this is like being the top worker at your job, right? You've worked at a job for a long time like i'm talking like five or so years somebody new comes in and they fire you and keep this person even though that person has zero experience and that's exactly what this is like you know she's been doing this for a long time she's been making content like this for a long time and these other people are popping up out of nowhere uh and doing this crap and they're fine right they're keeping their they're, they're making money they're making money off of youtube and now she's not YouTube, I hate you right now. I really hate you. And uh, yeah, just check her out. And if you're into ASMR, that is because she does make ASMR content. So if you don't like ASMR, you know, there really would be no point for you to do it other than out of like sympathy, helping her, helping her get views and watch time, views, watch time and such. Uh, and, you know, maybe ASMR Kitty Claw is going to watch this at some point. <laughs> And uh, just, you know, I love what you do. I love your content. I think it's appropriate for everybody. I think everybody can watch your content. And I think YouTube's a bunch of, bunch of bull lately. Towards everybody, not just 
not just you really, and even smaller creators are getting screwed. You know, I was monetized at one point. I've told this story many times. It hurts to tell the story, but I'm going to say it for the purposes of this. I was monetized. The whole Logan Paul incident happened, and then I lost it. They didn't even give me the, the money that I had. And, you know, I know that's a collaboration between YouTube and my partnership, but still, I feel that's almost illegal in a sense. I mean, if you make a, mo if you make a certain amount of money on your job, right, and you get even if you get fired or something, after making such money, they still have to give you the check. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Whatever you, whatever money you made up to that point, you got to give them the money for their work. Uh, and I didn't get nothing of that. Like I had a lot of money that they needed to pay me. And I was going to get it at the very end of that month, which is when all this happened. They seized my money. All of a sudden I checked my account. It's all gone. I was like, "That what? They did. They, they just stole from me. It's stealing. That's stealing. I don't care if it's electronic or not. It's the same situation. You still stole my money and money that I earned. <laughs> so that's still a sensitive topic topic for me. And I can only imagine how it's like for her because she makes way more than me. Like back then, I didn't really make a whole lot. So, I mean, it was still a low blow because I was like, damn, that's money that I made that I just lost. But imagine how much she makes. All right. She's a million subscribers. She gets typically a million views on a video. She's making a lot of money. And they stole that from her. They pretty much just stole that from her. God damn it, YouTube. <sighs> I just hope that someday you guys can figure something out where you guys can have go back to the way the platform was. It was so enjoyable when I started on this platform. I loved it. It was a great place to watch and make videos. Every year that goes by, it goes down the drain. And I don't understand that happens. You're supposed to progress as time goes on, you know, not go down. But yeah, hit like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and look out for more videos coming soon. Hopefully no more rants for a while. Like I said in my last one, I'd really like not to make rants. I don't really like making these. I make these to bring awareness to certain things and just to get my opinions out on the topic. I really don't like complaining about things. I'm not a complainer. But YouTube leaves me no choice. I have to talk about this. It's pretty important to me. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.